Welcome to the Sonia Student User Guide step-by-step -step tutorial series. During this special module, we will cover the project management plan in a little bit more depth. The project management plan, or PMP, is a work plan to help you and your preceptor navigate the activities of your internship. It provides a roadmap and establishes benchmarks to keep you accountable to the activities you agreed upon. Hopefully, by the end of your internship, you should have completed outcomes and deliverables you can hand off to your preceptor and internship agency. This is a great way to keep track of your progress and track successes and challenges associated with your internship. As part of your PMP, you will develop a goal to coincide with your public health problem. You will develop smart or specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-sensitive objectives. You will outline specific activities. You will project anticipated outcomes. You will identify resources and skills needed to accomplish your activities. You will estimate a timeline and set deadlines for yourself, forcing you to move along the project in a short 100 hours you have to complete everything. If you haven't been prompted to fill out your PMP, it's probably because your site has not been submitted and approved through Sonia. Once your internship is approved by the field office, you will get sent an email indicating your PMP is ready to be completed with an available link taking you to the form. You can also find this form under your forms tab in Sonia. Remember, you must adhere to your syllabus deadlines, which is why it's very important for you to find and submit your internship site for approval early. Try to give yourself at least a week to complete the PMP and schedule some meeting dates with your preceptor to go over the details of your project. It is your responsibility to complete your PMP on time. We recognize it is a fluid document, meaning after a month into your internship, you might want to change a few activities or objectives. That is fine because technically it is a tool for both you and your preceptor. However, an initial draft needs to be turned in by the deadline, no exceptions. Also, keep in mind you can edit your PMP later even after you submit for grading. We actually expect you to based on the feedback from your instructor. And your preceptor will have access to your PMP through their Sonia profile as well. The PMP must be done and approved by your instructor before you can begin accumulating hours for your internship. I wanna show you some resources that are actually on Canvas regarding your PMP. Once you log into your Canvas, go to Modules and scroll to the beginning your internship guidance, which is indicated right here under Required Internship Documents. This will give you guidance on completing your PMP amongst other things. So just kind of, you can read all of this. It's about the student orientation, acknowledgement, the student learning agreement, the waiver, the declaration of originality. Um, but down here at the bottom of the page, you'll see the project management plan. So click on that. And it gives you a little guideline, if you will, about the PMP. So discussing the project, sit down with your preceptor and learn about the agency. This will help you identify the public health problem you'll be addressing. Ask your preceptor about what projects are currently being worked on and what projects have been put off due to being under-resourced, then ask them what their needs are. This is really kind of honing down what that specific project might be that will go into your PMP. And then you go to the drawing board and I have some resources here for you such as the PMP template, uh, more information on developing SMART goals. So now that you understand what you need, you can develop your overarching goal and your activities and all of that, just start drafting it. And you definitely want to do that courtesy review with your preceptor to make sure that you're on the right track. You ultimately are responsible for filling this out. They do not fill it out. However, they probably want to know what goes into it if they have time. And then, of course, you turn it in through Sonia and you assess your progress by... I always suggest scheduling regular check-ins with your preceptor and bringing your PMP to those meetings so that way you can go through your PMP and say, yes, I checked this, I've done this, uh, I need help with this type of thing. 
And underneath here, you'll see there's actually an example for you to look at. Now let's review the pieces of your PMP. It really begins with your overarching goal statement. What are you trying to accomplish at your internship? What outcomes and deliverables are expected? Remember to make it relevant to your internship project. And lastly, you want to be sure to identify your public health problem and what you are doing as part of your internship to alleviate or work towards that problem. So this is the example PMP that's in Canvas. And you can see here the goal of the internship is to educate skilled nursing facilities on the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid regulations for antimicrobial stewardship in Nevada through developing a web-based training module hosted by CDC's TRAIN. The goal is already pretty smart, meaning specific, measurable, attainable, and realistic. But to make it a perfect SMART goal, I would probably add a time frame to it, which would probably be the last day of the internship. Um, I also might want to operationalize what education means here if I really want to make it like a true SMART goal type of thing. But this is kind of what I'm really looking for in terms of a goal statement for your PMP. It needs to be very specific. It needs to tell me what the public health problem is, which I should say in here, antimicrobial stewardship helps alleviate overuse of antibiotics, which is causing a rising strain of resistance among antibiotics or something like that. I really should add that into this particular SMART goal. That would make it even better, and then it would tell me what the public health problem is as well. Now let's look at the work plan portion of your PMP, where you are developing SMART objectives, specific activities, anticipated outcomes, identifying resources and skills you may need, estimating time it will take to complete certain activities, and giving yourself deadlines. Oops, better do this. There we go. So let's talk about developing this objective. It's very important you make your objectives smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time sensitive. This will help you assess whether or not you are successful completing what you wanted to complete at your internship. Here is a bad example of a smart objective. Educate the community on antimicrobial stewardship. It's just really vague. What will I do to educate the community? How will I measure or quantify education and what aspects of antimicrobial stewardship? And by when? If you have too many questions about a SMART objective, it's not really that SMART. So let's punch it up a notch. A good SMART goal usually says whether you are decreasing, increasing, or maintaining an activity. So to make this a better SMART objective, I'm going to increase the number of educational outreach events from 0 to 10 by May 3rd, 2019. Now, I have operationalized educating the community by saying I'm going to count the number of educational outreach events. My goal is 10, and it looks like my baseline is zero. So now I can actually count how many educational outreach events I will be implementing. Very measurable. And then I put a date to it, so I have a goal in mind. Okay, let's go back here. Now the next question to ask myself would be, okay, what do I need to do to accomplish this objective? I need to identify my learning objectives for the training. I probably need to transcribe CMS regulations for skilled nursing facilities into our PowerPoint. You can even say I need to actually look up what those CMS regulations are. I need to develop a voiceover script. I want to add some mini quizzes to the assessment. I have to map training components. I put together training elements. I need my preceptor to review a draft of the training and ultimately I need a finalized training. Your anticipated outcomes you can think of as deliverables. What tangible item will you have as a result of the activity? Will I have an assessment like here, the four mini quizzes? Uh, will I have a script? Will I have a PowerPoint? Etc. Then you ask yourself, what resources do I need to accomplish this activity? Do I need certain software like iMovie or Word? Do I need a computer? Do I need certain research? Then you want to estimate the number of hours it will take for you to complete the activity. Remember, 
all of your hours need to add up to 100 or you will get docked when your PMP is actually graded. So that's super important. Do the math. And then lastly, you'll want to give yourself progress benchmarks or deadlines to help you move your project along. Okay, let's look at the actual PMP here in Sonia. So again, to reiterate, you will not have access to your PMP until after your internship site has been approved by the field office. Once approved, you will receive an email with a link to this form and it will become available under your forms tab in Sonia. So you can see here your name technically will auto populate. You fill out your internship project name and then agency information, your supervisor's contact information. Um, it does have a few questions on health disparities because we're really wanting you to think about that connection of what you're doing at your internship to the larger picture of how it affects public health. And then I also want to notate here, everything in blue is what you are filling out and then everything in gray is the feedback from your instructor, which you'll see after you submit your project management plan for grading. The other thing I want to bring to your attention are the little red stars there. Uh, that means that it's mandatory, so the goal statement's mandatory, the first two complete objectives are mandatory, and the discussion is mandatory. There are technically four objectives available to you if you want to have a pretty thorough work plan, so you can have those options, but it's only five activities, so make sure you utilize all of those boxes. You can see, look, they're all mandatory, and you will get docked if you do not complete all of these boxes and then going down to the bottom here there's um, just one to two paragraphs in terms of discussing what you feel you'll be able to achieve um, with this PMP and then any additional resources or skills or guidance you'll need to be successful and then you can save the draft if you're still working on it, and then you could go find it again under your forms tab in Sonia, or you can press the student submit button, and that will officially submit to your instructor for grading. Also keep in mind that your preceptor will have access to your PMP after you submit and it's approved by your instructor. They can't change anything to your PMP though, so only you can make changes. So make sure you're submitting it to get graded by the deadline, but you can alter it later after the deadline to be more useful for you and your preceptor later. So congratulations, you now know how to fill out a successful project management plan. The next module will cover timesheets.